Gemini 6 was to have been the first flight to rendezvous and dock with a separately launched Agena target vehicle, but the vehicle explodes during liftoff. Astronauts Wally Schirra and Tom Stafford, who had been waiting in their Gemini capsule on a separate pad ready to follow the Agena into orbit, now had no choice but to abort their mission. NASA decides to instead wait and launch Gemini 6 shortly after Gemini 7. Since they can no longer rendezvous with an Agena, the two flights will instead rendezvous with each other. In addition to rendezvous, if the U.S. was going to get to the moon, NASA first had to find out the long-term effects of weightlessness on the human body. For the flight of Gemini 7, Frank Borman and Jim Lovell would spend two weeks in orbit. The two also test new lightweight spacesuits that could be taken off during the flight, but they would ultimately prove to not be as comfortable as originally hoped. Gemini 7 is launched first on December 4, 1965. Eight days later, Wally Schirra and Tom Stafford prepare to lift off and rendezvous with Gemini 7. But just as soon as the engines start, they shut down. Several tenths seconds passed as people waited to see if the rocket would explode. Schirra could have pulled a handle which would have ejected the two astronauts from the capsule, but decides against it. The launch is aborted and engineers work to fix the problem. Finally, after three days of work, Schirra and Stafford lift off and rendezvous with Borman and Lovell. The two spacecraft come within feet of each other, proving that precise rendezvous between two separate spacecraft could be achieved. Yeah, we're sitting up here playing bridge together. We're in formation with seven. Everything is go here. Schirra and Stafford return to Earth the following day, but Borman and Lovell stay in orbit for another three days, making for a total of two weeks in orbit. Doctors on the ground had feared the crew might pass out or their hearts might even stop when they returned to Earth. But neither astronaut suffered any ill effects from their marathon spaceflight. Many more of the necessary goals had been achieved and a voyage to the moon was looking more and more possible. <laughs>